All right, guys, here's a quick unboxing of, yeah, a family pocket. Um, it's a mini uh, Famiclone, uh, basically, you know, system on a chip, uh, 308 games, apparently. And uh, let's see if it's exactly what I ordered. Um, but it is supposed to be a retro TV, mini three-inch screen with uh, your classic, not so classic, four button uh, NES controllers, uh, wireless by the way. So, yep, it's the family pocket. Let's take a look. Just got it in from Amazon. It is the wood green. Here's the TV itself. Antenna. Obviously it's fake antenna. It is one of the controllers. This is the version that does come with just the one controller, which is fine. And anything else in there are just the instructions, your charging cable, and your, uh, your cables, your RC jack, um, audio video cables to connect to a bigger TV. Take a quick look at the controller again it's supposed to look like an nes controller but it does have four buttons it's going to have some batteries in there and it is wireless and she's going to connect right to this guy let's see if we have any power here so where's this connect to the antenna gotcha right back there Pretty sure. Yep. Just throw it on back there. Okay. Let's turn it on here. Oh wow. Now I did not put any batteries in here. That is very interesting. It's not just a list of games. Let's see, what do we need here? Batteries? I don't know if I have... Turn the controller around. Is there an instruction for the controller? Please select AAA battery to supply power to the wireless controller. Gotcha. Please click on the battery door, whatever that means, and polarity and unpacking the case. Okay, well, I do have a AAA battery here, so let's get this thing going here. Is it just one triple A? For sure. Right, let's see if we can get this. You guys just bear with me here. There we go. Two triple A's, okay. It's going to be a triple A battery.
luckily I just went to the Dollar Tree and was able to get a couple of triple A's or packages of triple A's. All right, there we go. I'm moving things around here. Oops, sorry guys. sort of gameplay going on here. So, adventure? Okay, here we go. Alright, so they just kind of, they just kind of categorized everything for us. So, Super Mario Brothers? if we can turn this volume up here. I know it's I know it can go pretty pretty high. And I'm pretty sure that top one does not move. No. Oh there's the volume. Okay. This it's the one that turns on the console itself. Oh the buttons are very very squishy. Oh my goodness. Definitely um, not even close to what an original NES felt like. Oh, ran right into him. All right, let's see. Hold start and select to go back to the game list. Okay. Oh, yep, there we go. Is there really fighting games in here? Turtle one, double drive. Okay, so these are probably beat em ups too. What's thirty nine and one mean? Does that mean thirty six and one? Okay, so again, yeah, they're all categorized there. So that's totally cool. Well, in any case. That's the wood grain panel console here. Um, again, three inch screen. Has the uh, USB here. Um, USB for charging. This is your AV input. What is this here? System reset. And this is the middle there. There's a battery for mobile operation. Oh, wait. I think it's this one down here, possibly, for mobile operation. So if you wanted to take this mobily and. I thought, right? For sure. Maybe. So maybe this is where you would get regular batteries, and then this is the rechargeable battery. Lithium battery. All right, so what are you? This battery compartment. Please insert the double A battery. Make sure the battery. Okay, so yeah, you can put regular batteries in this. Got a little chip down here on the compartment. That's okay. You won't be looking at the back of it. Just be sitting sitting right on the shelf there. There's menus here, so let's take a look. I think. Well, let's see how that works. I'm not entirely sure here. Interesting. I thought there was a uh, like a, a clock that you you would be able to see. Nonetheless, 
I'm gonna give that a try, see if I can take a look and see if I can find that feature. Um, I'll leave a comment uh, in the comments. All right, I'll leave a um, comment in the description um, if there is the ability to have a clock. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.